So Striker could be the hero alongside Ice being my starting tower. Okay, I'm gonna try this. This might work, except this alternate balloons rounds. All right, so I'm gonna find the cheapest upgrades. So as you can see, my ice tower is a little shoddy. It's, it's okay, but I should probably uh roll for something else now because I'm gonna die to camo balloons if I don't. Sub, sub's good. Sub's not good against camos, but sub is good. So I'll probably get this sub here. Now, how do I want this? I think I have to do this actually. I might actually, I'm wondering if I wanna go for advanced intel. Maybe I can get a submerge sub. <laughs> I, I can do submerge sub micro. I'm gonna get advanced intel, then roll for tower. And if it's not camo, I'm actually gonna go for submerge sub. What do we got? All right, so we would get ice, and I will have to do ice eventually, but I think I have to do submerge and support now. I also probably, ooh, yeah, I have to upgrade a metal freeze. I think I want to do that now. Yeah, okay. Fuck. Okay, this is fine. Because, yeah, I want to be able to pop those leads. Next, I'll probably get submerge and support. And I'll probably get an ice over here so this guy can catch more things. These lives are going to be really tight. Good news is I only have to make it round 80. Bad news is these waves are going to be hella hard. All right, we did. We got our submerged support, but I'm going to put it on first right now. No camel balloons, and then I need to get an ice tower next. I also probably should get twin guns. No, I'll probably get the ice tower first. It's 540, though. So expensive. Oh, I got some of them. I didn't get all of them, but I got some of them. There we go. Uh, except this isn't actually going to pop them now, is it? No, they're just going to regrow back the greens. Well, I tried. All right, get this here. More we'll range for that sub. Probably larger radius again. Yeah, I'll probably just get the bottom half since it's cheapest. Oh, I need this on strong. No, that's not strong. No, this, this submerge is fucking my targeting. I keep thinking I can go from first to strong and back, but I can't. Ugh! I also can't pop frozen. I can go for metal tips. That's middle path, right? All right, good, we got him. And barbed darts is good on its own as well, so I think it's worth getting here. This is such a janky defense, but I kind of have to, to survive. And then I realized getting Metal Freeze was a mistake. Because this also pops lead. I think it was a bit more expensive, though. So I guess I wasn't able to get it at the time. All right, but this is good, actually. Yes, this is excellent. I think I want this to be a 0-1-2 Ice Tower, so it has more consistent freezing. But I'll just get Refreeze now, because I think instead of going for that, I could probably benefit more from a different tower. It's so hot in that sub. It really is. Uh, Alchemist is good, but not what you want to see right now. Oh, jeez. Uh, I wish it would let me get my free dart monkey. So do I go for Alchemist or... Yeah, probably do. Strong. Nope, strong. Gotta hit those purples. Perp skirt. No, fuck. I do this every time. How is this possible? more lives lost this hurts i think i'm gonna have this just here chances are i'll eventually get stuff in this general area i could go for like rubber to gold or something like that but it's probably not worth my time so i just have this on strong right now then i'm gonna do larger potions and acidic mixture dip even though like this thing already pops leads this might be handy eventually oh shit um submerge there we go good all right what's up next Attack shooter. Okay, I'm gonna clear these rocks get attack shooter in here because that's the closest I'm gonna get to a natural defense I could probably go for an overdrive and probably do okay We'll see And we should clean up that very nicely Red sub looks whack. Yeah, you never really see this guy. I actually love the way that looks. I think it's kind of funny So I don't know whether I want taxpayer or hot shots because the 
whole frozen balloons here is kind of annoying. Oh, I don't even hit all the camos. Oh, this is bad. Right, I got second tier. I need a reroll right now or I'm dead. What'd I get? Bomb. Okay, I'm not dead. But I guess I get, could get a bomb. Maybe bomb's just better than going for this tax shooter right now. Maybe I just want to go for a bomb. I want to buy the Alchemist so it gets buff first. Actually, it doesn't matter. Alchemist will buff both of them. Whenever I get Alk buffs, buff. so having this in here is fine. And I'll go for a Cluster Bomb. And then I'll go for Alchemist upgrade. Then I'll have to figure out something for the Fortified Moab. How am I beating the Fortified Moab? What am I doing? Maybe I just go for a Moab Assassin. Because I can't actually guarantee I'll beat that. And first... All right, what's up, Connects with Towers? Leaking quite a bit, so this has to save me. <gasps> oh, Striker Jones! Yes, 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 yes. Give me Jonesy. I don't even know. That's probably not even a good spot. I should have gotten more up here. We got motherfucking Striker Jones. Yes. Guy's ability, which is sick. We now can roll again. An ace, huh? Oh, so that's how I'm going to beat the Moab. Okay. We're going to use an ace to beat this Moab. Got it. So in that case, I'm going to go for a Cluster Bomb right now. And then we're going to go for that third tier ace. The Fighter Plane. Maybe even an ODS. That could be really solid too. Part of me wants to get the Elk buff. Or maybe just like a higher tier Bomb Tower. But I don't know if I'll have the money for the ODS. ODS would just be so solid. Unsubmerge. Uh, I, I guess I could have saved one life there. It's probably not that big a deal. A lot of ceramics here. Still not that bad. Nice. Okay, good. More darts. Because I'll probably get camo on ODS as my backup camo. Because it seems pretty crazy. Uh, do I need to redo this round? It's only 16 lives. It's not that bad. That's another 16 lives. <sighs> I guess I could have gotten camo on this, but I think I still want to go for ODS. Plus, we're definitely going to need ODS for the Fortified Mob anyways. We're going to want to pop it even faster. I really want ODS right now. I guess I can do this. Help me get a little bit extra damage. I'll take those leaks, actually. It's not the biggest deal for me. Mana Shield is just the big savior right now. Mana Shield is the only reason I'm alive, without a doubt. Nuts, actually. Alright, so next we're definitely going to get camo on this. Alright, so we probably have more defense. Next up, I want to work on this Bomb Tower. So this Bomb Tower could definitely use some help. We're going to go for Heavy Bombs, then I'm going to go for the Alchemist buff. And I think all that together should be good. I'm definitely going to do this now, though. Striker Jones' ability is 100% coming down. And hopefully I'm fine. I'll... Put this on first real quick. Stay alive. Nice. All right, back to somewhere you go. All right, give me heavy bombs and then give me berserker brew. Roll for tower? No, no, no. I need to upgrade the stuff I have. I, I'm not prepared to roll for towers. Next up, recursive cluster. Am I getting reactor? I could actually. That actually might not be too sh shabby. Especially against camos, but I don't want to yet. I want to focus on main defense. Although if I suddenly leaked like a camel balloon, maybe I'll just sell something for a reactor. So I get this here. Probably stronger stim next. I'm gonna want a reactor with how this is going. Okay. You know what? Since I have actually pretty good defense all in all, I think I will go for reactor. All right. I mean, it did save me during the uh, the Twitch cells gameplay, and it definitely helps a lot here. Next up, stronger stimulant. Then after that, I'll probably go back to rolling for towers. Rip useless tag shooter. Hey, he, he might he might become something eventually. I haven't decided what he's gonna be yet. He could be um I don't know, he could be a tag zone. Tag zone's actually pretty good. What if I just go for a tag zone? Tag zone's sick with an alchemist buff. You know what? Let's fucking go for it. I'll even get like faster shooting. Roll the towers we have instead of just saying, nah, I'm just gonna waste my money on that. Oh, I also should have added farm into the wheel. Because we're not on chimps anymore. I'll do that for next game. Tag zone can pop leads without elk. Oh, oh, that's good. Then that, yeah, then the ice tower won't even be a problem because I assume they'll also pop frozen. 
And it helps out so much against these mobs. Look at that. They just vaporize the second they hit that uh, overdrive. What do you think the worst tower in Blue Sea 5 and 6 is? I don't know about 5. Probably Glue Gunner. But 6 worst tower is definitely probably Boomerang. The only thing it kind of has going for it is like the 4th tier Moeb push. But even that is, it's not the best. It is pretty cheap though. I'll, I'll, I'll give it that. Can I reroll hero on the wheel? Yeah, I can. Oh yeah, I'll just get a farm if I reroll hero. That's fine. So that way I always get a hero before the farm. It's not like I need farms anyways. Like I was doing chips mode just perfectly fine. Is zero two isn't bad for boomer. Eh, it's pretty bad. <laughs> on most maps, it's, it's pretty bad. The only maps that can be good on are like longer maps and sometimes intermediate maps. I would I would take a I would take a cluster bomb, I would take a wall of fire, I would take a blade maelstrom over any time. I mean, it could be good for races, that's true. Races is the one thing the 302 boomer could excel in. If there's, you know, limited types of towers. Oh yeah, look at that range buff. Look at that just come out of nowhere. Oh, it basically covers the whole loop when it's buffed by Alchemist. This thing's sick. Fortified BFB ain't shit. I think it's finally the point where I should buy new towers now. I, I, I like my defense a lot. I don't think I need to upgrade anymore. Let's go for new things. Tag zone is sick. Glue's fine too. Do I go for a uh, fifth tier glue ever? Let's go for a fifth tier glue. I think I can afford to do that. And it's fun as well. Who doesn't love fifth tier glue? Where would I put it though? Like a reasonable person would just get a Moeb glue and consider it over, but fuck it, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get fifth tier glue. Balloon solver. I haven't gotten that in so long and it's one of my favorite fifth tier towers, so I feel like I gotta do it. It's gonna take a while to save up though. But my defense is also really good. It's not like I'm gonna die anytime soon. So maybe I can just simply get away with the glue. Like if I get it, I win, right? Just 26,000. That is actually pretty overpriced. When was it this high? I could have sworn it was closer to 20k. Well, maybe that's going in my next buff video. What's the most creative fifth tier? Prince of Darkness is pretty cool. The, the zombie mobs and zombie BFBs are really exciting. It just sucks that it's bad. Balloon Solver's best thing against ceramics in the game? Hard agree. Yes, absolutely. It's one of the one of the only things that you can guarantee that you'll be fine against super ceramics in the late game with. Like, you get a 502, you'll be set against even, like, fortified Super Ceramics. It's nice. What doesn't need a buff besides Permanent Comanche? Ice Cone Pale and Temple are the other two that are fine. Maybe you can make a case for Archmage not needing a buff because it's okay enough. However, if, if it's considerably weaker than the, uh, the other four. It isn't bad with the Bomb Tower support, though. I'll give it that. Like, it did pretty well on the RNG chimps run but pretty well isn't good enough you have to remember this also beginner map and archmage barely did good enough on a beginner map whoof tax zone's good where it is i can see ninja kiwi taking off a couple thousand of the price S a small price buff i don't think that'd break it and actually i'd love to see that i'd actually love to see tax zone being like a staple for mid game but I don't think they'll, they'd bother with it. Oh, we good here? Balloons are making it far. We're fine. Am I even gonna be able to afford balloon solver this game? Am I just wasting my time? Here, let me let me just roll another tower in case this balloon solver doesn't work out. What's my backup? Uh, sub. Uh oh, that's not good backup. Well, if Super Maelstrom was like permacharge, oh shit! What if it? Oh, what if it was? Oh, that's a really cool buff idea. What if like when it's attacking, it's just like a weaker version of normal Blade Maelstrom, and then Super Mail. Oh my god, that'd be amazing, dude! I love that. Oh my, why did I not say that in the video? I, there's just no way I could have thought of that. That's just such a cool idea. What, Maelstrom's fine how how it is. It's kind of useless. Like I. If, if you want to use Super Maelstrom for, like, beating hard mode and stuff, be my guest. But regular Maelstrom will get the job done just fine. And if you want to beat past hard mode, Super Maelstrom's not going to get the job done. It just won't. It does jack shit against Super Ceramics. It's terrible. 
really is. So it definitely needs a buff in some way, shape, or form. But just having the main attack beat a little bit better is 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 exciting. I, I'd love to see like a slower version of Maelstrom going on. With Alpha 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 if it does well. Yeah, but you also have to remember it towers as good as as, as its weakest moments. When Blade Maelstrom is down, it kinda sucks. We got our Bloom Solver though. Finally, just in time for the last couple rounds. Just in time for the ZOMG. I also gotta get a sub. Hold my D. Um just get this like here i want to get an armor piercing sub it's just so i have a little bit extra more pop and power okay not an armor piercing third tier subs good enough what else can i get a boomer i guess i could get that uh that fourth tier boomer i actually think i'd rather go for the fourth tier boomer than anything else right now look at this like here maybe the Moab press. Just in case Moabs start making it too far. I don't think they will, though. My overall defense is sick. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. This was a tight game, actually. We were really struggling at the beginning. <laughs> the sub and ice tower strand having the micro submerge and unsubmerge. That was nutty. Speaking of ice, one last ice for good measure. Yeah, we did it. 440 monkey money. Nice. All right, moving on to impoppable mode.